This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. There are over 300 Old Testament prophetic scriptures that were fulfilled in the life of Jesus Christ. This includes Genesis 3:15, which says the Messiah will be born of a woman, Micah 5:2, which said that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem, and Isaiah 7:14, where it is foretold that the Messiah will be born to a virgin. We can see Jesus Christ can be found in these prophetic verses in the Old Testament. This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. Typology is a literary technique used by the early church to help unpack the patterns in scripture. Paul uses this technique in Romans when he says that Christ is the second Adam, the one who would undo the curse. In Hebrews, the writer talks about how Christ is like the priest king Melchizedek. Typology can also help us find Jesus in the lives of Noah, David and many other people in the Old Testament. This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. In Exodus 33, Moses asks to see God. God says that no one can see his face and live. But then earlier in the chapter we read, so the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. This seems like a contradiction, but instead, could Moses be speaking with Christ face to face? If so, this would be a Christophany. A Christophany is an appearance of Jesus. These normally relate to appearances after his death and resurrection, but can include events in the Old Testament. Examples include the angel of the Lord, son of man in the book of Daniel, and possibly here, speaking to Moses face to face. In Genesis, we see several stories where God is physically present. For example, walking in the Garden of Eden, one of the strangers who speaks with Abraham, and in the story of Hagar. It is debated whether these theophanies were God physically showing himself, or are in fact Christophanies, where the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ speaks directly with Adam and Eve Moses and Hagar face to face. This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. The Bible makes more than 50 references to the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament. The angel of the Lord has some particular attributes. He speaks as if he is God. Sometimes the angel of the Lord speaks as if he is a messenger from God and other times he speaks as if he is God. The text seamlessly moves between the Lord and the angel of the Lord. For example, the angel of the Lord appears in the burning bush and then the Lord speaks from the fire where the angel of the Lord is and says that he is God. Like Jesus, who said he was with the Father but distinct, so too is the angel of the Lord, separate but together with God. The angel issues blessings which only God can give. In Genesis 16, the angel of the Lord blesses Hagar and tells her he will increase her descendants. The angel of the Lord accepts worship. Like Jesus, who accepts the worship of his disciples in Matthew 14, the angel of the Lord accepts worship too in Judges 13. And he takes away sin. And like Jesus takes away sin, so too does the angel of the Lord in Zechariah 3. It appears to me that the angel of the Lord is the pre-incarnate Jesus. This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. In the book of Jude, we read in verse 5, I want to remind you that after the Lord had delivered his people out of the land of Egypt, he destroyed those who did not believe. In the earliest manuscripts we have, the word Lord is replaced with Jesus. Originally, Jude wrote that Jesus delivered his people out of Egypt. So when we read in Exodus about how God saved the children of Israel, it is actually Jesus. The pre-incarnate Jesus is with Moses and commands the Red Sea, just like he commanded the Sea of Galilee in the New Testament. This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. In Genesis 15, we read the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Abraham did not hear but saw the word of the Lord. This is a confusing verse, unless the word of the Lord is not a message, but a messenger. The Gospel according to John opens with this verse. In the beginning was the Word. John is relating this to the Word of the Lord in the Old Testament. Jesus is the Word of the Lord. 
When we see this phrase in scripture, it's not just a message coming to a person, but the pre-incarnate Jesus encountering and speaking to them directly. So the question is not, what is the word of the Lord, but who is the word of the Lord? And his name is Jesus. This exclusive Instagram series looks at where Jesus can be found in the Old Testament. We see people in the Old Testament call on the name of the Lord. In the book of Isaiah, we find the name of the Lord is personalised. Look, the name of the Lord comes from afar. In Psalms, the name of the Lord is personalised again, and we see him acquainted with God. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. And some boast in chariots, others in horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. So it's not what is the name of the Lord, but rather who. When we pray in the name of Jesus, we are in fact calling on the name of the Lord.